In this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to deliver a PDF download to anybody who opts into one of your MailChimp forms. It's super simple to do. I'm going to show you all the steps in this video. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them down below. I try to answer them the best I can. My name is Bjorn Allpass from WP Learning Lab, where we help you get better at WordPress so you can earn more for yourself, for your customers, and for your business. If you haven't done so yet, click subscribe and ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. Now let's get started. In another video on this MailChimp playlist, we added this form right here to our WordPress site. And we link this to MailChimp. So when someone signs up here, they're added to our MailChimp account. But this form isn't going to incentivize anybody to sign up. We need to have some kind of headline, a call to action, preferably an image as well, so they can see what they get when they sign up because nobody wants to be on a mailing list just to be on another mailing list. So I'm going to show you how to do that in this video, how to level up the form with a call to action and also deliver something on the back end after they sign up through this form. So first, let's go into Edit with Elementor to spruce up this form a little bit. And like I said, it's already connected to MailChimp and I connected it in a previous video. That's if it's not linked to in the carp above or the description down below, it is in the MailChimp playlist that this current video is also part of. That is definitely linked in the description down below. So here we have a headline that we didn't see on the front end just now because it was in draft mode, but I just added uh, a heading, drag and drop that in here and just change the text to read download your free WP Speedify speed optimization checklist. Now we want to add an image below that. Let's drag and drop an image over here. Let's choose an image. I'm going to upload one for my computer. This is the cover image for my 11 point WP security checklist, not the Speedify checklist that we're talking about in this video, but let's just pretend that it is because the cover will look pretty similar. We just need a nice looking cover to make this work. And I'm just going to add some padding on the right and the left just to shrink this down a little bit. And I'll shrink this image down a little bit. That's a bit better. Now the form is a little more contained, not so spread out. And now we have a call to action. We have an image. We could also have a little blurb on what you get with this checklist. And then we have a name, email, and a send button to sign up to get this checklist. And if you actually do want this checklist, this is actually a downloadable completed checklist. If you want to get it, there's a link to that in the description down below. And there'll also be one at the end of this video. It's a great checklist to help you secure your site. If you've not secured your site before, this will walk you through the basics. And it's pretty easy to do. Just walk through what the checklist shows you. And so now we have this done. Let's click on update. And we're going to test this in just a minute. But first, we're going to go into MailChimp and create an email to deliver it. Right now we have a free MailChimp account, which means we only have one audience. If we go to audiences, we see what our one audience here, WP Learning Lab. If you had a paid account, you have more audiences, but in this case, we just have one. And that's where all the contacts that will opt in here will arrive. They all arrive in this one audience. And if you want to see how we set up this MailChimp account, I have a complete walkthrough on how we set up MailChimp and got it up and running in the card up above and the description down below. It's also in this playlist along with this video as well. Either way, if you want the complete walkthrough, check that out. And if you're finding this tutorial helpful, click the like button because that helps this video show up for more people on YouTube so we can spread the knowledge and help more people with this information. So make sure you click like if you like this video. In the case of this video, we're just doing something very specific, which is adding an email that people will receive after they opt in to this form. And to do that, we're going to head over into our MailChimp account and go to automations. And this is where we send automated emails. There are campaigns as well, which is also sending email, but these are one-off emails that are sent once, or you can send them multiple times. We have to schedule them every time you want to send them. In the automations section, we send emails automatically after someone does some. On the right-hand side, I'm going to go to create, and I'm going to choose classic automations, because it's just a really simple automation, which is going to be send an email. So here we have a bunch of options. For this example, I'm going to choose email subscribers when they're tagged because we have a special tag assigned to this form. In the previous video where we built this form, we integrated MailChimp. And when you integrate MailChimp in the form settings, you can choose a specific tag. So everybody who signs up on this form is going to receive this tag. And with this automation, we want everyone who receives or has that tag we want them to receive this email. So I'm going to call this WP security checklist delivery under audiences. I can only choose one audience because I have a free account. Only one audience is allowed in every free account. Click on begin to get started. 
And here we see details. This is the name of the automation we're creating. This is the audience that's gonna be linked to. And this first entry is gonna be the email we're creating. If we wanna create more, we have to upgrade to a paid account. So we're limited to one. Luckily, when we send out this PDF, we just need one email to send out the PDF. So we wanna edit the trigger for one. We don't want it to send it one day after. We wanna send it immediately. So let's click on edit beside trigger. We're gonna wait. Not at all. We're going to select immediately from there. And for tags, we're going to select home page sign up, which again matches what we have in the form settings for our MailChimp settings. Everybody who signs up through this form is going to have this tag. They'll be sent this email immediately. Click on update trigger. Now we have that trigger updated. Schedule all day, every day. So if, even if they sign up on a Sunday at midnight, they will get the email immediately, which is totally fine because they're the ones signing up on a Sunday at midnight. So they must be okay with that. We also have the ability to filter by segment or tag. This is more advanced. You could have a special tag applied to people after they receive this email or even after they open the email. And then you could filter out anybody who already has that special tag. So you wouldn't resend this email to someone who's already received it. You can also have post send actions, also advanced. We're not gonna cover those in detail in this video, but we will click on design email. It's gonna be a pretty straightforward email. Doesn't have to have a lot in it. In the first field, we name our email. That's called WP Security Checklist Delivery. For the email subject, we'll have download. Your WP Security Checklist has arrived. For the preview text, we'll say this checklist will help you secure your sites. For the from name, I have my name and WP Learn Lab pre-filled. My email address is also pre-filled. Why are they pre-filled? Because of the complete MailChimp walkthrough we did previously. If you wanna see that video, it's in the card above and the description down below. It shows you the complete setup to get your MailChimp up and running. If you wanna check that out, then click on next in the bottom right. Now we can choose a layout from this list down here. And I'm just gonna use uh, this first one here. It's part of the free account. If we hover over these and they say upgrade to use, that's for a paid account. We see it on a number of these. Simple text is also one you could use as well, but then you have to build the whole thing on your own. Here we have some elements pre-built. So I'm gonna choose this one, and then I'm just gonna rename the title to download your checklist below. And for the image, I'm going to add a new one. Let's replace this. Let's use this one right here, which is an image of our checklist. Let's make it a little smaller. We're gonna to wanna to add a link to this image as well once we're done. Let's just pretend this text here is about our PDF describing it a little bit. And this button we're gonna to change to download now. And we also want to link to a web address. And this web address is gonna be the destination. It's gonna be our actual PDF. There's a couple of ways you can do this. You could use a service like beacon.by, which I've been using recently to create your PDFs. You can upload your PDF to Amazon services like Amazon S3 and deliver it that way. You could upload it right to your website, which I'm gonna do in this case which is the easiest and fastest route. And I uploaded PDFs to my websites for many years without any problems ever. In the dashboard, we go to media and then add new. And then we just upload our PDF right here. I have a simple basic blank PDF, which is just blank. Copy the URL once it's uploaded. And then under web address, paste in the address, click on the image, click on link, add the web address there. So they can download the PDF by clicking on the image and by clicking on the download button. Then click on save and continue. And now we are ready to go. We have our email set up. It's gonna trigger immediately after a specific tag is added to the contact and that tag is homepage sign up. So let's go to next because our automation sequence is complete. Why there's a big red X? I don't know. What's the X for? Default text content, fine. They don't like it that we left this section in here which is the default. So let's add some lorem ipsum text. Let's see if that'll get by their filters. This one has some lorem ipsum. You shouldn't add lorem ipsum to yours, but this is just an example. Add something clever and witty in here to make your email more attractive because this looks quite terrible. Uh, let's reduce this. and it won't let me, there we go. Let's try that. Save and continue, cancel, save and close, save and continue. Now let's try that again. Hopefully no big red X is there. Everything's good, checks out, start sending. It's gonna to send to one person that I used for testing previously, and now we're gonna test it live to see how this email is received by an actual user 
who's signing up. So let's go to our homepage. Let's go down to our form, fill out this form with a name and an email. This is an email I don't use very often. It's mostly a spam email. And that will be added to our audience inside MailChimp. Let's go to audience and then all contacts. So we have that email address right here and the homepage underscore signup tag. Now, if I go to this email account, that email should have been received by now. Let's go to Gmail and here it is right here. Your download or download your security checklist has arrived. Download your checklist below. We can click on the image or the button and that will open our blank PDF, which is just blank, but this would be a link to the actual PDF. So that's how we automate delivery of a PDF. This could be the delivery of anything. You could have this be a call to action to get a coupon. You have this be a call to action to get some free gift in the mail. You have this call to action to be a free one-on-one -on -one phone call. Whatever it is, you can automate its delivery using MailChimp with the process you just saw in this video. Next up, you should check out the MailChimp playlist right here where I show you how to do all kinds of things with MailChimp. Almost everything you need for online marketing is in that playlist if you're using MailChimp. And if you haven't done so yet, click subscribe, ring the bell so you don't miss any future videos. My name is Bjorn Allpass from the WP Learning Lab. Till next time, keep crushing it and I will see you in the next video.